go for adventure with you again. I'm going to preface this video by letting you know that there's going to be some dramatic footage here. Uh, my dad and I had a harrowing experience in the Bounder Waters. We needed to be rescued after a capsize and, and getting separated. Um, the rescuers were amazing. Um, they were there for, for us when we needed them. And for that, we are extremely grateful and appreciative. This trip started at Lake One Entry Point. Started out fantastic, and it goes to show you how quickly things can turn. And without further ado, um, here is the footage. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Sorry, we're not going to get in the current. But yeah, wow. What's that? Yeah, I mean it's it's going over the rocks so fast that it's like just shooting up in the air. It's just turbulent. Okay, at the top of this portage is where the accident happens. We made a mistake. We should have taken more time reading the current that was there. It didn't look like it was moving as fast as it was, but we made a mistake and capsized. It's coming up. All right. So normally water is not running here. The water is over there on the other side and the portage trail is supposed to go through here. But the water is running right on the portage trail, which is supposed to go right through here. So we had to reroute and come over this way. Kind of bushwhack a little. You okay? Yeah. All right. Stay. Stay there. Here you see me racing back to try and coach dad on how to get off of a submerged rock he was on and onto an island where he can get dry because the water was just moving too fast to get him. I also start retrieving the packs here because I've realized that we can't get out of this jam by ourselves and we're going to need help. So I'm going to hit the SOS button. Okay. Dad and I just capsized by a rapids. He's stuck on an island. He's out of the water, but he's shivering and he's trying to light a fire. I, I activated the SOS button on my spot device. I'm shaking, soaking wet. The water temps are about 43 degrees. I gotta get in some dry clothes. We hit some bad water and boom, we were over in a heartbeat, so. I can't get out to him out there. I'm hoping he can get a fire going, but I have no way of getting to him safely. This water's moving too swiftly. So I hit the SOS button on the spot device because I need help. I can't get to him by myself and I don't know what to do. 
Okay, things have stabilized a little. We're about 45 minutes since capsizing. Dad's phone, he told me to check his phone and we're getting service and I was able to call 911. They had received the spot SOS and they told me it's gonna be a couple hours before somebody can get out here. Dad appears to be doing okay. He's not shivering. He seems to be drying out. Oh. The air temperature is probably around 50, 55 degrees. Oh. I, you know, you never think this is gonna happen to you. We're pretty good canoeists. I, the water just, I don't know, it, it caught us. And boom, we were over in a heartbeat. I can't believe how strong it was. I thought we were past the worst stuff. I thought we would be just fine. Oh, I hope nobody's freaking out back home. We're gonna be okay. But we need to get rescued. I have the canoe. I have the packs. I was able to salvage the food pack from the bottom of the rapids. It was hung up on a tree that was by me so I could get it. So we have food and the second we went in the water, it's panic. It's panic. I hung onto the canoe. The pack stayed in the canoe, but the water was moving so fast pulling us towards the rapids that I, it was everything I had just to paddle towards shore. And dad made the right move by going to the island where he could get a grip on something. Saved his butt. Because otherwise he would have been going down this. Alright, I feel like I need to record this. If for nothing for educational purposes. Dad's still on the island. He appears to be doing okay. I'm worried about him staying warm. The sun keeps coming out though and that helps a lot. He's out there on that island. They have to send in a helicopter to get him because there's no other safe way to get there. So the state patrol is coming in and I don't know if they're gonna take both of us out of here. They're coming to get us. I think that plane might be signaling or, or showing the chopper where we are. The plane has circled around us twice already. It's coming back around for a third loop. 